these are real small. So I told him to move to, move to the side so to see if I could take it to the house. This is the beginning of the practice. And uh, this is the video we're going to be giving you for your show. Here's a gang member. Here, this is a loud broadcast, by the way. Now, watch this, Anna. This is absolutely, I think, disgraceful. These, he fell at the side of the table. I mean, real brave men, right? Now, these women here, you'll see them later, are taking pictures of this. This is sick. So, um, this is the video I'm going to be giving you for your show. I'm going to fast forward here because you can see him getting up and nobody's helping him. These two men try to help him. Football tells him something. Get away. Okay? Okay, here's a black man going and helping. I think his name is Lavi Tarbo. T-A-R-V-O. And this gentleman here is getting his glasses and going to help. And he risked his life doing that. Now you see Reginald Denny passing by. If you saw an animal being beaten, you would go over and help an animal.
figure out what was going on. As far as I remember until five or six days later. They say I was in a coma. And it took quite a few weeks after I was in the hospital that they even let on that there was a riot. Because the doctor didn't feel that was something I needed to know. I mean, they completely controlled that remote control thing. They just had it on a movie station. And if I hadn't seen all that stuff, like me doing a few things after everything was over, like climbing back into the truck and talking to Titus and Bobby and Terry and Lee, those are the four people that came to my rescue. They was telling me things I never even would have known. Terry, I only met because she came as a surprise guest visit to the hospital. That was an emotional time. How does one say someone saved their life? How does a person, how do I express enough thanks for someone risking their life? One day when I get a house, I'm going to have one of the rooms. And it's just going to be of all the right stuff. And it won't be a blood and guts memorial. It's not going to be a sad, it's going to be a happy room. A place where a person can walk in and have a good old time in there. Just of all the crazy things, all the love and compassion and the letters from faraway places. Just frame, place, things. And there won't be a color problem in this world. Because you take the toughest white guy in town who thinks he's a badass and thinks he's better than any other race and get him in a position where he needs help. I just want people to wake up, man. It's not a color. It's a person. So this room, it's just going to be about people. One day, no really, it will happen.